Hello, it's me, Vicky, again. And this video uh, is not a language video. It just, it's hotting up here at the moment in Spain. And I just thought some of you, those of you who live in Spain, if you're English or Spanish, if you're Spanish, you probably know how to deal with mosquitoes because uh, you have lived here all your life. But a lot of you who live here or come here on a regular basis on holiday, you're probably struggling with the mosquitoes that we've got at the moment, which of course we have every summer. And I just thought I'd do a short video. Some things I've learnt in the 25 years that I've lived in Spain that do help with mosquitoes. So obviously, first thing is if you, you can put on a mosquito cream, you can get the plug-in um, pastils, uh, uh, pastillas that you can plug into your, um, in your bedroom or your living room. You can get these little electric things that emit sort of um, sounds uh, that apparently keep out insects, etc. There's a lot of those sort of things, but I know some of you maybe you don't want to put a chemical on your skin, um, you know, or spray insecticide. I mean, I always do spray my bedroom before I go to bed, but I have so many things. Uh, but anyway, some of the, the, the natural things, uh, well, not necessarily natural, but some of the things that are used here in Spain or one thing that's very used for the children, because obviously often with children you don't want to put chemical sprays on them, is colonia. Colonia. Now, um, you can buy Colonia in any supermarket and you can buy expensive uh, brands of Colonia or very cheap brands of Colonia. This is just Al Campo's own Colonia. You can get in Mercadon, you can get in any supermarket probably in its own uh, brand and they're about one euro, one euro fifty. You can also get other brands, anything up to, when I was getting this yesterday, I noticed anything up to seven euros uh, for a bottle of Colonia, which seems a lot of money to me for a bottle of Colonia. What is Colonia? Well, basically, uh, it's an eau de cologne, really, and you can get different uh, fragrances. I like the lavender one because it's calming as well. Um, and the other good thing about this, those of you who are pet owners, dog lovers out there, especially because you know they can get a terrible disease from mosquito bites which can kill them, uh, the leash mania, um, I spray my dogs with the colonia, apart from the fact it smells nice and also uh, it's um, calming, so if you've got a dog that's a little bit hyper, which I have, uh, it does uh, it does help and it's perfectly safe for dogs. I mean, I've used it for years and I've never had a problem. I mean, obviously, you, you don't put loads and loads on, just a little spray here and there, and that puts the mosquitoes off. But as I say, if you don't like lavender, you can get other fragrances. Uh, so, on your dogs, on your children, on you, just splash it on and it helps to keep away those horrible mosquitoes. Of course, another way to keep them uh, away is using a fan. Mosquitoes don't like fans. They can't land on you and uh, suck your blood because they can't, you know, obviously the fan keeps blowing them away. So fans help to keep them away. And I think if you find, or if you find like I do, as soon as you turn the fan off, they're like, you know, they're straight there. So the fans work, a ceiling fan or a fan by the side of your bed, uh, you know, directed at you will make it difficult for them to bite you. And something that to me, I could not live without in the summer, because of course, sometimes you are going to get bitten. Uh, you know, you can't avoid it. And some people have much more uh, stronger re reactions than others. I'm very lucky, I don't get a strong reaction. You know, I just get a sort of itchy lump that's just so infuriating, isn't it? But yeah, I have uh, friends who get massive, um, uh, what's the word, uh, allergic reactions. And you know, and they need to take Pyroton or something similar, which you can get in the chemist. Uh, all those things you can get over the counter without a prescription. But the best thing that I have found in all the years that I've lived in Spain and I could not live without in the summer is Savlon. It is 
brilliant for uh, mosquito bites. You just put a little dab on and literally within seconds you can't feel it anymore and you don't feel it again. So that's my advice. Now, getting Savlon is quite a, a bit of a difficult thing in Spain. I mean, obviously, I think you can all probably order it on Amazon. I normally get a friend, any friends I've got coming over from the UK or when I go to the UK, stock up on it because you cannot buy it in uh, pharmacies in Spain. And only pharmacies, I don't know if you know about the way things work in Spain, but only really pharmacies are allowed to sell sort of medical products. So although quite a lot of British supermarkets, maybe at the market, there'll be a British uh, stand that might sell it, they're not really supposed to. Uh, I remember our little supermarket in the village, they'd have it under the counter. Like You felt like you were buying drugs or something because technically, as they're a food supermarket, if they're a food supermarket, they're not really supposed to sell medical products because that's the way things are in Spain. But anyway, get yourself some... If you're here in Spain, living here, on holiday here, and you're getting eaten alive, or your children are getting eaten alive, and, of course, you wouldn't know if your dog was, but you don't want your dog to get um, leash mania. So, armed with these things and a fan... Uh, I mean, I use all of it, to be honest. I do the spray as well. I put a bit of everything on, everything I can, but especially for my dogs. Obviously, you can't put uh, insect spray on your dog's life, but so the Colonia is perfectly safe. Uh, well, as far as I know, and I've certainly never had a problem with it. Somebody might come back to me and say, oh, no, you can't put Colonia on. Well, I'm, I've been doing it for years, and I'm going to carry on doing it. Um, and yeah, because those horrible, horrible mosquitoes, they just spoil the summer, don't they? But um, there you go, with the, armed with those things, hopefully we'll have a mosquito-free summer. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you very soon in the next video. Uh, I don't know if you're learning English or you're learning Spanish or you've just tumbled onto my channel by mistake. Um, generally my videos are about either learning English or Spanish but I was just thinking about this morning I thought you know sometimes people say to me oh what, what do you recommend for um, mosquitoes etc so that's what I recommend okay I'll see you as always very soon in the next video and until then may your God go with you thank you bye